All right, so today we're gonna to be breaking down an article by Dr. Jennifer Robinson on why you should move an acute injury versus rising it, rest, ice, compression, elevation, in order to optimize your healing process. Let's get right into it. All right, so today we're gonna to be talking about and breaking down an article by Dr. Jennifer Robinson in the University of British Columbia, sports medicine. So she talks about why to move an injury, not rice, rest, ice, compression, elevation. Uh, so last video we broke down kind of superficially why rice may not be right. Now we're gonna get more into the meat and potatoes uh, and pull some research from her article. So move, movement, not rest. O is for options, offer options for cross training. V is for variable rehab with strength, balance, and agility drills. And then the E is for ease back into activity for emotional strength. So basically talking about how you wanna get back to activity as soon as possible. So let's break that down, but we need to remember, first, this is after ruling out a fracture, uh, cord compression, or other catastrophic events. So we're basically talking about your typical ankle sprains and things of that sort. All right, so first we're gonna break down movement and why movement is better than rest. So an article by Dr. Jim and Phil Wharton talks about how inactivity actually shuts the muscle down. So when you shut the muscle down, you have decreased blood flow and increased tissue atrophy. So they suggest using mice. Instead of rest, we use movement, ice, compression, elevation. Um, and we'll get a little more into ice compression elevation in just a second, uh, but the movement's definitely important. And they talk about how the activity, the metabolic activity actually increases oxygen to the tissues that are being healed that were damaged, and it helps decrease the metabolic waste because the blood flow helps flush it out. They also referenced Dr. Khan, who is the editor of the British Journal of Sports Medicine, who states that movement is directly correlated to tissue healing. All right, so in terms of movement, the last research article that Dr. Robinson references is by Dr. Scott, who is the director of Vancouver's Hospitals of Tendon Laboratories. And they talk about mechanical loading movements and how that releases increased growth factors. So those increased growth factors allow for more protein synthesis, which allows for maintenance, strengthening, and healing of muscle, bone, and cartilage. All right, so now that we're transitioning out of movement into ice, so Dr. Dr. Gabe Merkin actually agrees. So he coined the term RICE, rest, ice, compression, elevation. So he agrees that movement is better. He goes on to talk about how vasoconstriction, like we talked about last video, inhibits the amount of oxygen in the tissues. Oxygen is used for healing. So this inhibits the inflammatory response that is needed for healing. All right, so Dr. Robinson actually goes on to reference Professor James McCormick, who talks about there's no hard evidence showing that with acute sport injuries, NSAIDs, non-steroidal anti-inflammatories, help improve the clinical outcome or even reduce the inflammation. So that brings us to compression and elevation. As I stated in our previous video, there's not a lot of research for this. It's a very gray area. If you feel like it helps, then do it, but Dr. Robinson, what she likes to do is use muscle activation. So there's the lymphatic system, which actually helps with drainage. So the theory of elevating is you're gonna help it all drain back down using gravity. Well, instead, she likes to use muscle activation and the muscles actually act as a pump to get things moving throughout the lymphatic system. I'm actually gonna link some of the exercises below in the comments where Dr. Robinson gives a bunch of great examples to get your joints moving. All right, so that's why you should move, not ice and injury. So if you found that beneficial, let me know. The next article we're gonna be talking about peace and love. So it's not really about the acronyms like that you need to remember. It's more so the information that I'm giving you. Take that into effect for your injuries so that you can speed up your recovery process and take your health into your hands. Yeah.